Hey, you guys. So I want to talk to you guys about something really important because the early election is coming up. We'll be to vote early. But first and foremost, like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Share with family, friends, co-workers, church members, neighbors. Get it out there. This one's going to be titled Abortion. Because, you know, that's one of the things. That's the issue of the election. And I basically just want to give you guys my views on that. My thing is this. I don't think a person... I don't think a person should be getting an abortion because they're not ready to be a parent or they can't... And, and not, not how I tell them when they say they're not ready to be a parent because they can't afford it, but they, like, most... It's not all of the women because the men are just, like, just responsible. You knew, you knew, sorry, Jai, you knew how much money you was making, you knew your situation, you know, you chose to be out there having casual sex, then not protect yourself. I'm talking about this scenario. Are you get pregnant, you think it's okay to kill a child? No. We understand you can't sit there for to the child deal, but to me, it, it's it's more about you and not, and not the child. You're being selfish. Then it's like, well, I don't want to go through all those emotions. I have to give my child away to somebody. Because uh, abortion is not your first and only option. You know, we born babies because you, you sat there, you knew you wasn't ready, but you chose to sit and have fun and be casual. God didn't make when God created sex, He didn't create for you to be casual to have all these partners for you see and get married. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, but that's a whole different conversation. But no, I feel it's wrong. And so because because the because same way you, it's like people don't want to be don't want to be responsible, don't want to warm it up. You're warm enough to lay there and suck his dick and spread your little legs open. We want, we want to take care of that child. But your first little option shouldn't be abortion. Some people immediately when they find their pregnant, they, 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 they don't think about it, they don't whatever. And you know that they, that doctor will tell you, they're going to tell you, you a, they're going to give you all your options. Adoption, there's abortion, they're going to give you all your options. Some people got their mind made up. Okay, get that baby up for adoption. You don't, you, you don't get to sit here and kill a child because you don't want to be inconvenienced. That's why when you become a mother, it becomes a, it, it's not going to be convenient for you. For, convenient for you, a child's not going to make your life convenient. It is going to be convenient because now you got to make all these adjustments and stuff. Um, because it bothers, bothers me. Now, I originally felt like okay, even if I originally felt like, felt that if a woman was sexually assaulted and raped, and a child and they end up becoming pregnant, you know. That they, it's a, you know, that they, okay, they should be, they, they definitely should be able to have an abortion. I shouldn't be forced to have a child of someone that, that assaulted me. Because some people, they can't bear to have that person's child in their stomach. You know what I'm saying? But I must, and they give them up for adoption. You know, but at the same time, ado adoption is an option too. If somebody forces a sister to rape you, you know what I'm saying? Why should that child have to suffer? That child didn't do anything to you. That child is innocent. The child is innocent. And innocent. The child is innocent. Because what's the difference in a man raping than a man beating the shit out of you? There are women who sit there and men are beating the shit out of them. That's physical harm. When a man rapes you, that's physical harm. But you, but you, but you wouldn't abort the child when, when a man rapes you, but you don't want to abort him when he beats the shit out of you. You know what I'm saying? Half of you women stay with the person. That beats you. A lot of women, when they're such assault, it's not by someone they don't know. For some people, I mean, they, now, because there was a common thing that every time you're such 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 assault, you don't know the person. For, for a lot of people, it is majority of the time. It's by someone that you sit there and you know, family member, someone that family, uh, 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 teacher, someone that the family trusted, tutor, whatever. You know what I mean? But still. You wouldn't sit there if you was a rest man. He was beating the shit at you, and he finds you pregnant. You go, you go and board that baby. Most women don't use abortion for that. It's just they, they never. When you listen to the campaigns, the campaign stuff, and the, and the fight against it, which I agree, it's not that. It's always. Well, so you tell me it's my brown. I got. I'm forced to kill child somebody that raped me. Well, you sit there and you keep the child of the man that beat you, and that was physical pain. And you don't think there was any mental, emotional pain involved in that? Any verbal pain? When they person sexually assaulted you, there's mental and emotional pain in that that they put on you because it affects your mental and emotional. And then they want to try to tell you, you know what I mean? All you feel is physical, that's sexual, mental, and emotional. When you physically abuse, it's physical, mental, and emotional. 
And if they say something to you verbal, you know when they beat you, they say something to you verbal. So you experience all the pains in both the scenarios, but you'll sit there keep a child someone who 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 beat the crap out of you. Because but yet, but yet that person but you, because, and because the fact that you had a child that means after the man beat you in a lot of times in that situation they don't they a lot of people they have a lot of people a lot of women that have so low, low self-esteem and if they were raised that way they're always known for men they don't know and they turn around you see with him after he beat you and you you okay care that child child what's the difference you're experiencing the same physical mental much pain that someone does when they sexually assaulted but you keep but you keep that baby you don't sit there and say you don't sit there and make that child sit there and suffer. It doesn't bother you that you catch a child man that beat the crap out of you. And some women know better, but they're afraid to leave. They're like they know it's not okay, but they're afraid to leave. And you continue to be intimate, intimate with this person. There just like there are some people who are sexually assaulted but didn't know that what happened to them was that. Because that person was able to convince when somebody kidnaps you, like those people being kidnapped, those girls, stuff like that, and they end up they, you know what I'm saying, that person able to able to convince them. Oh, this is normal. It's okay. Nothing bad happened. So uh, they don't know. It takes a while for them to realize. In that moment, they knew it was wrong, but the person was still able to convince them. Still, why should at the end the child have to suffer? But I understand if you had, if, if that was your choice, because there's some people who can't bear that. But I, but it's not your own. It shouldn't be your first and only option. Because it's not your only option when you become pregnant. Pregnant. You know. Um. But I don't think I feel in this. But I don't. But I don't think it's okay for you to be aborting a child because you can't afford to take care of child. Oh, you're not ready. You shouldn't have been out there. Cause if you say you're not ready or you can't, that means you. That means when you got pregnant, you definitely, there, there's no way you was married to someone and got got pregnant. And you, 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 you financially, you can't sit there and for the child. If you are married and both y'all sitting here working, what you mean? Y'all married both y'all working, so you, so with both of the income, y'all should be able to afford to take care of the child, put a child in, in child care. But you're saying, even, and, and excuse me, and that's what would be, oh, we were not ready. But you knew you wasn't ready. You just got to show up, doesn't mean you'd be reckless like that. If y'all both are on the same page that y'all not ready, it, it just as much as his responsible as it is yours. And that's nothing I don't agree with. I don't feel that, you know what I'm saying, the woman should be held responsible. It's, it's, it's not, I don't believe that it's the woman's responsibility to um keep her her clothes her clothes keep her legs closed keep her skirt down or but be the one that it's her responsibility to, be, to, to protect herself while she's laid up it's like no because i didn't make the bed by myself no before that happened i had somebody had, had sex with me and it's just as much as the man's responsibility it's just as responsible for that person having a child if y'all knew neither one y'all was ready not because financially but because maybe y'all would then make sure y'all sit up here on the set page, he said, he, he, he said, come on now. Condoms, bro, come on, condoms and broker control. You be taking your pill, he should be rocking that condom. That is how you forget to take your pill. But how you forget to, how you forget to put a condom on? How? You know, you know you're not ready. So I did my research. I said, let me see when, when, because, and this came about because of Mark Rose. I didn't agree, I, I didn't agree with anything he said. I didn't. I didn't like that. You know, how dare you sit there and say, he was basically saying it was a year because, because yeah, we're the ones that had to get the abortion because we're the ones that because men don't get pregnant. Men don't get pregnant. But it's not just but we're not one hundred percent responsible for us getting pregnant. And I don't agree with that. They sit there and say we were irresponsible because you, we were irresponsible by lifting our skirts open our legs up. Excuse me? The reason why most of us are doing it because you you men are pressuring us because your your attraction to us our jump is physical. Then you want to sit there and make us feel like, tell us, oh, well, if you love me, you would do it, or whatever. Or make it seem like the decision makers is wrong. You don't respect our decisions. If you are more respectful of our decisions and, and, our, uh, and of our no, when we say no, we don't want to, and you don't try to make us feel like crap or feel guilty, make us feel like we're wrong for telling you no, then there won't be a lot of <laughs> abortion wouldn't exist, or there wouldn't be a lot of kids out here without a father. Y'all want to pressure us to sister, but y'all want to man up. You know what I'm saying? And I can't vote for someone that's a hypocrite because the way he came out about it, he came out about it as if he had no done shit. Well, I don't know, but it comes out, you, you had an abortion. Your girlfriend, who's now your wife, got an abortion when you guys were young. You can't come that hard. You can't come that way. It's set in stone. Anywhere in the in, in United States of America, you can't go past 12 months. So that's like, because four, six, three months. Once you hit three months, you cannot abort that baby because it's considered 
um, a child and stuff. So I guess in time before that, it's not considered a child because it's like it's like a being. I think you know what I'm saying that because like it's not actually a child. It's not in the, it's not in the form of a child and stuff. He, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I cannot vote for someone who is a hypocrite. You the only the only reason it came out was because it it, it got, on the only reason I'm sorry the only reason he addressed it is because it came out. And so he had to address the situation. And when he originally addressed it, cause I wrote it down, he goes, uh, well, "Yeah, I got I got some woman pregnant." He he made it seem as if like what it was somebody before his wife. Then eventually he comes out. I think it was like a year year two later, telling my son that when the, the girlfriend question was my wife, she got an abortion. But well, it makes you look back because you can't sit there and say, "Oh, you're not for you're against you get it." Because if you never liked the abortion, it was against it, against it from the jail, like, always. Because the way he came was like, he was always against it. You never had one back, back then either. And then he never knows why he got one. This man, fifty some years old, he probably wasn't ready either. In fact, you did, and that was your reason why. How you don't have to understand? It. But the city didn't say we're like it, it, it say we were irresponsible. You better say, or oh, the man, uh, the man she was. Well, he was irresponsible. Cause we're the ones that get divorced. Cause we get pregnant. Men don't get pregnant. There are some men who said that talk with me to get divorced. That's probably what he did. So I don't agree with that. You know what I'm saying? So I, so my brother said that I will be voting for Josh Stein. I, and normally I don't come out here and tell people who, like who I'm vote for or who not to vote for, but um. Here we go. But um, I would not be voting for Mark uh, Robinson. I would not. And I'm a daycare teacher. And here are the things I've heard that he 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 was on, on daycare at one point, and sockets were uncovered, and and, and, and you know lights went out. It, just, it was just bad. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and being a daycare teacher, I worked at some daycares where you know things were weren't weren't, weren't weren't where they should be, and things were happening, and things like that. So that that really bothers me. So I'm one of those that. When it comes to safety, you know what I'm saying? Very, you know, very particular about that. Now, there's procedures that you have to follow. Unfortunately, I might do it, do, do all that, you know, because if you knew the procedure, I might not send it for no hour. But I don't sit there and, you know, I'll make sure, I'll make sure that my Alice will come, my kids aren't over there, they're not climbing on things. So I'm not trying to, you know what I'm saying? I don't let them, they, if they are, I'm to hey, get down. Um, my kids and their bitches we all, uh, now if I was where they could we had water had lights the water might have to go out but really when that wouldn't be there because it was two different niggas that were that we ended up losing water it should it should have been closed but um and it didn't and somehow they got the water back on but we never I never were daycare where we didn't have no lights we had no power like that's crazy to me because you can't because, because of the kids eating all that if you don't have no power how how's the cook able to cook you ain't got no food so that just really should bother me the wrong way but they sit there, and another thing I don't agree with was him saying that it's not our body anymore. I I, I disagree with that. You need my permission to have sex with me, but oh, but because of my body, I need your permission to make a decision because of my body. No, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. And then he was doing a lot of backpedaling. I can't vote someone who can't who who's who's backpedaling, who, who's back and forth. You don't clearly you don't have a clear stance on the issue, because then. It seems like you had one, and then it's like, well, because of the because of the consensus, you know, say I'm, I'm going to sit there and not go go try to go for the ban and ban it, and then he and then somebody asked him a question, said, well, if they if they were to sit there and um have a some type of something like, would you sign or like something like to ban whatever? He was like, oh yeah, definitely, I would. Do. Well, you just said they said based off the consensus, based off the consensus, you know, consensus that's not what we want. Regardless of that paper going now, your answer should still your his answer should have been because of the consensus, no, I would not sign it and so and to ban it. I feel that 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 they should you know, they should have the choice. So I'm going on my nose, it's fetting everything through here. Um You know saying that the, the woman should be able to decide whether they want to have abortion, they should be allowed to get that abortion because of the fact that, you know, I, now everybody became pregnant because that some people got raped. You know what I'm saying? So I get it from that standpoint. But even that city, that's not, that's still not um, an okay reason to abort a child. You know what I'm saying? Because 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 you can't deal with a care a child not much to get to get more for for adoption. You know what I'm saying? That's not your only option in that choice. Because when Plan B out, they tell them if you sat there, especially if you say you saw the day, me go get that Plan B. Now at that time you don't know. You go run so you get that Plan B, and then you go get. You know what I'm saying? You don't know. 
and that's possible you could have been, but it takes a while for you to conceive anyway. You know what I'm saying? So if you're taking the plan B right then, you know what I'm saying? You're probably not pregnant yet, so you, you know what I'm saying? So in that sense, yeah, the plan B, you know what I'm saying? But to go and get an abortion, for you to get abortion, you knew you was pregnant. Take the plan B, you know, because that's because you, if you're going to take plan B, you had to take it the day after. Like, if you had to say you got to take it, like, the next day. From my understanding, I don't know. But, um, you know, but it's me having sex with you and me become pregnant with someone, someone's child does not say, oh, it's not your body. Like I said, so no, you're not. Because that's an invasive procedure. They're going inside my private area, just like I'm getting the pal. It should be up to me. It's a very uncomfortable and in, in, invasive procedure that you don't get to decide. It, it, it's like being raped because you're going to feel violated that you're doing this because someone is forcing you. Especially if it's a man, you're going to feel violated. You're going to feel raped. No. Me becoming pregnant doesn't mean it's not my body. I don't agree with that at all. It's not my body anymore. Are you serious? It, it will always be my body. You can't just walk to a woman and touch a woman. If you can't walk to a woman and touch a woman, then how can you sit there and say that you have the right to give somebody else permission to touch a woman's body? Who do you sit there and say, I had the right to tell a doctor they could touch my wife's body or my girlfriend's body? No, you don't. You don't have permission to touch her body. You can't go and touch her body. You would need permission. So you can't tell a doctor that they have your permission to touch her. It's not your body. No doctor in their right mind, unless they were crooked, would do some shit like that. Even if you say, that I go to her right there and say, so that tells you right there, if a doctor turns to her and says, is this true, this is what you want. That doctor is basically telling you, I need consent because the procedure is being done on her. I need consent from her because it's being done on her. You know what I'm saying? So, it, the fact that a doctor was sitting there, that's what they're supposed to do. Because they know it, that's an invasive procedure. You know? But yeah, he was balled back and forth. And then, and then so he said that. And then he turned around and goes back and says, Well, I'm, I'm right now, I'm for the. So then he goes back to say he's for the band or whatever like that. He was like, But if they could get down to, right now it's 12 weeks, but they can get out of six weeks or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping we get to where, like, it's a complete ban. So he literally went back to the original statement. So you so you basically lying. So how I tell that is that you're just saying that to try to get votes. And like, he's not sincere. I don't think he's sincere. Because you kind of went back to your understanding, which was a bad and abortion. That's really how you feel. And but, 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 but because it's getting close, I think it was this year, because it was August, I think it was. Because it was closer to to, to voting, you you changed up and said that so and then you literally the last statement on it was in august who went back to his original statement so basically you did it i hope to get votes you're not getting my vote i'll be voting for J josh stein you're not getting my vote because i'm not that backpedal you know you wasn't sincere when you said clearly you just did it and hopes to get the vote for the people because the man he gets voted in is that you he's going to sit there and ban it nobody has the right to decide when it comes to a person's body you know what I'm saying, whether or not they can have an abortion or not there's some things about abortion, by abortion that I don't agree with. But one thing I said is that anytime when it comes to a person, their body and, and, and all that, that should be their choice. That should, I can time I that. That should be their choice. No matter what I'm No way. So I did some research. And birth control was invented in 1960. He was born eight years after it was it was made, condoms, condoms were always around. Condoms came out before birth control. So when you were out and about, this came out eight years before you was even born. So when you were having sex, the option was there. Condoms was there. It was just as much your responsibility to wear a condom as it was your wife to, wear, to have birth control. But, but men back then, we got at the air, air, born in the 60s, they blamed women. That's how the, their mom said was. They didn't have all oh, the your fault it happened. And you can't you change your self pregnant. You know what I mean? I feel like for health and medical reasons also, that now that's one for sure that I agree abortion is okay to, because for health reasons. Because if your dad is telling you that no say like we gotta abort that child, we gotta get rid of your child, then okay. For health medical reasons. Because you're gonna die. Or if we don't, your child will end up, you know, either, but, may, but you know, or like we have to because of, you know, the risk of the, the child won't survive, so we need to go ahead and take, okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, you know, 
But some, but some people do do it. Then the reason is for some reason, oh, they're not ready. I can't find, but you knew that. You know what I mean? Um, but child should never suffer for because they're innocent. You know, so they had they ain't had nothing to do with it. Just like if a mother is angry, you don't sit there and come at the child for something they had nothing to do with. You were the one who made your choice. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I wasn't there when I was conceived and, 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 and was created. I wasn't there. So I should have to suffer. You know what I'm saying? Because your situation with a person at the time you are praying with me wasn't a good one. But it wasn't my fault. The child is innocent. And when you're praying that that baby is innocent. They didn't ask to be here. Just like I didn't ask to be here. My mama, none of us, none of us asked to be here. None of us. You know, so, um, you know, asked to be and stuff like that. But, that, but it's not your only option. It's not the first choice. A lot of people act like that. So it's like their first choice. The first thing they go, it's like, no, take your time. And a lot of times people don't know. Some people, some people, when they find they're pregnant, they're already three weeks in. So they can't even, unless they unless you plan, if you plan pregnancy, you're not going to turn around and decide to an abort baby that you plan to have. No, for you to know, so you would have had to plan it. And then when you had sex, you wait two weeks after. And so let me tell you, but if you didn't plan it, sometimes sometimes a person can sit there and be three months on there, no four months along before they know they're pregnant. You know what I'm saying? And they don't have no choice because they're they're, they're, they're that far along. People don't know they don't. People don't know, you know, what I'm saying when a mother pregnant, they're pregnant unless they plan. Like you really have to pay attention. If you're working, especially if you're a woman that's working and you're ripping and running and stuff like that, you, you, you your first mindset, you, you, the first thing, that, the first thing you're gonna think of is not like, oh, I'm pregnant. Your mindset is gonna be like the first thing that you think of when your period will come on is like, oh, I'm stressed. I'm stressed out. That's probably what it is. You know. You don't think that oh, it's, oh my prayer ain't come on, I must be praying. No. Men don't know how stress affects a woman's body. Even if you are on the pill, if you are stressed out, it would affect and when your prayer it won't come on. That's how a lot of people can get pregnant when they're on the pill because you can be stressed out. And the first thing you'll think is oh I'm stressed. They're not gonna think they're pretty much on stress. It has to be of a certain somebody like throwing up and get rid of nauseous or just they might pass out and then we'll go doctor doctor, they find out that way sometimes. You know. But I do feel that as far as abortion, the woman should be able to decide when they want to have abortion. I don't agree with some of the reasons why women get the, the abortion. The healthy medical, yes. Uh, you, you you being being raped by someone, you don't. I completely get it. But at the same time, you don't have to take care of the child. You can get the child up for, for adoption. You know, adopt, you know, you're not being able to afford. You're not ready. Doesn't matter. Child should sit there and die because you got to being casual. If you're married. And both it ain't it ain't for financial. Both of y'all got work. You got jobs. If you trust a guy, you you, you you can provide for that child. So being not really still that selfish, because you're making the choice. Why should I try not be to live and see the world? Because because both of y'all were irresponsible. You know. But that's my take on it. I'm going to talk about that because your let is coming up. And so, but no, I don't sit in black. Well, don't vote for this person, vote for that person. No, I don't. But this, but this issue is a big one and stuff. So, basically, if that person is not for, um, because they're trying to ban abortion, if that person is not for abortion, they're trying to ban abortion, don't vote for someone that's trying to ban abortion. Don't vote for someone that's against the road versus the wave. Because I was upset when they reversed it. Because I didn't really have fun standing stand there until I kind of went. Because I was here all the time. But I never knew it. So I finally looked it up. And I was like, oh, no, I need to go back. But who do y'all decide who, who gets the... Who do you... Who... I didn't sit and say, I'm going to leave it up to each governor in each state to decide whether or, not somebody can have an, whether or not somebody can have an abortion. Whether it'll be illegal. And you're going to force people. Because if something was to happen while I was praying, they tell me the only way for me to, to survive is that we got to take this baby. They can't do it because legal in that particular state. No, I don't agree with that. No. It needs to be back, it needs to be back how it was. It needs to be legal everywhere. And if a person, and because it's all said and done, that's your personal choice. That is between you and God. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody's going to feel differently about it. But when it comes to the pol politics, no. Because it's reproductive. It's my body. You don't get to tell me what I can and can't do with my body. You don't tell me that's not my body, but you don't tell me that I was irresponsible and the man was irresponsible. Clearly, he didn't have on a condom. I don't agree with any of that. And I didn't like it. I remember when I first heard it, that's what I said. And there's no way it wasn't him or it wasn't. It was him because the video was done way before AI. 
it was him. It was a social media Facebook post. He said, "Then there's like, and you put it up there, and I, and you're a black man, and you want to be in politics, you're, and you're and you're, you know, uh, a public figure. You gotta be careful what you do and put up out there, cause it blows up in your face later. People, people, don't let a person want to go for so far. Better post a mess up on you, and so. But that's what I wanted to say. I wanted to get that out real quick, um, before the um, cause the early elections for us at least in North Carolina is getting ready to start this week. So I love y'all. God bless again. Subscribe to this um." to my channel follow me on instagram follow me on facebook share with your family and friends co-workers like this video um neighbors church members put it out there i love y'all this is alicia um with the um with the real talk with alicia podcast i love y'all god bless